Wow. This is Daily Oral Language sentence number 50. We have come a long way. And hopefully you're noticing that the practice of these sentences is actually making your writing better. You're more confident. And you feel better about it. So let's see. Let's go to sentence number 50 and see how well we've done and what we've learned over this couple of months. So this says, Sylvia said, we don't know whether you're planning the party, sending the invitations, or if you're to decorate this room. Allow me to read that again. Sylvia said, we don't know whether you're planning the party, sending the invitations, or if you're to decorate this room. Okay, first thing to look at right now, the first thing that jumps out at me is that somebody said this sentence, which tells me I need to separate out certain words with a comma and also separate out everything that was said with quotation marks. So what are the only two words that Sylvia did not say out loud? Of course, the answer would be Sylvia said, so let's separate that with a comma and let's fix everything else has to be put into quotation marks to show that she, she did say it. So it would be go before we and after room. Excellent. Is everybody good? Fabulous. Let's continue. So let's capitalize Sylvia, of course, and let's talk about what she said. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the first thing that Sylvia said is we. So we capitalized the first thing that we said. That shows us that that's where her sentence started. I understand that we're having a capitalized word within our own sentence, but because it's within the quotation marks, it shows us the beginning of what she said, and it is acceptable to do that. In fact, it's the correct way to do it. So Sylvia said, comma quotes, we don't know whether, what's wrong with don't? Clearly we need the apostrophe because we're saying do not. Of course you could say do not if you want to. That's acceptable. Or you can apostrophize it and say, we don't. Just make sure that the contraction is correct in your sentence. We do not know whether. What's wrong with no? Of course, we're talking about knowing as in knowledge. Notice, knowing as in knowledge starts off like knowledge is spelled. K-N. Sorry, my N is a little bad. K-N. Let's rewrite this whole thing. Give me a second. There you go. No is like knowledge, so it starts off by saying K-N-O-W, good. We don't know weather, what's wrong with weather? Correct, that's like climate weather. We know whether or not the W-H-E-T-H-E-R, excellent. So let's see it, Sylvia said, we don't know whether you're planning the party, Let's put a comma because when we're saying she's that, that's the end of one of the things that we're thinking about, whether you're planning the party, sending the invitations. We could put another comma there if we want, or if you're to decorate this room, let's continue. You're, we don't know whether you're planning the party. We really want to say you are planning this party. So it's apostrophe R-E. Excellent. Look at planning. That looks like planning. So we want it to be double N. We don't know whether you're planning the party, comma, sending the invitations, comma, or if you're to decorate this room. Let's continue. Sending the invitations. Remember, invitations are invites. Invite is with an I, not an E, so it's invitations. Now, let's take a look at this. What are our verbs in this sentence? We have planning, we have sending, and then it says decorate. Can I say planning, sending, and decorate? No, it's planning, sending, and decorate. Decorating. So let's make decorate into decorating. And then we wouldn't say, or if you're too decorating. No, no, no. Let's fix that as well. Sylvia said, we don't know whether you're planning the party, comma, sending the invitations, comma, or get rid of if you're in two or decorating this room. This way, all our verbs are agreeing with each other. We have the ing infinitive version. We don't know whether you're planning, sending, or decorating. Excellent. And of course, we're going to want to put a period at the end of the sentence. It goes within the quotes because it's part of her sentence. I mean, it's part of our sentence and it shows that that's where she ended. Let's go to the bottom and see how well we did. We have Sylvia said, capitalize Sylvia, comma quotes. Notice we capitalize we because it's the beginning of what she said. We don't. We made sure to hyphenate don't. Uh, or, I'm sorry, apostrophize don't because we're saying do not. We do not know. We fix no because we're talking about knowledge. Not no is in negative. So no, whether. We did the right form of whether, whether or not. You are. So it's your with the apostrophe R-E. Of course, you could put you. Are, if you'd like to, that's up to you. Whether you are planning the party, notice I double end planning. I have a comma, sending the invitations or decorating this room. Now notice all my verbs agree. We have planning, we have sending, and we have decorating. We fixed invitations, we have a period at the end. Really nice job today. Very nice.